Our next guest is your Rise Affiliation leader, Shakedown. Welcome back to 2K TV, my man. You know who it is. It's your boy, Shake. Back at it again, man. Sitting here with my boy, LD2K, ready to get this Rise versus Elite opportunity on the game. So let's, let's get it, man. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Of course, people are out there competing, and they will be competing the rest of the summer. Rise versus Elite. The standings are close, Shake. What's it been like for you seeing your affiliation in Elite neck-to-neck -neck all seasons, all seasons long? It's been excruciating, to be honest, man. Uh, uh, it's, it's, been, it's been exciting, but at the same time, I want to win. Uh, I want to see our team, our, our whole affiliation do well. And um, hopefully everybody keeps stepping it up, man. We've been playing really well lately. For sure. All right. So here it is, affiliation leader versus affiliation leader. We actually haven't stepped on the affiliation courts and hooped against each other, so why not do it right here on our community rap show? You ready for the challenge? Let's get it, man. Right here, I have a coin shake. I'm gonna let you make the call, heads or tails. This will be for who has home court in this matchup. Welcome everybody, thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and we've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me. And the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. Jalen Brunson out there with Jaden Ivey. Then it's Duran. Then there's Wallace. And it's Bay in at the four slot. And for Golden State, Wiggins is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then there's Red Hot. Then it's Christian Wood. And it's Curry in at the point. With the majority of the season behind us, GA, what becomes the focus for teams that have postseason aspirations? Kevin, ideally, this is the time of year that you want to be hitting your stride. So you have to make sure everyone's on the same page and that you're united in the same goal. Now, here's Ivy. He gets that Ivy. one. Ivy's got the opening bucket of the night here for the Pistons. This is what's terrific about Jaden Ivey. He has the size to do damage in there. Nice shot by Red Hot. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Brunson. Really played well against Phoenix in his last outing. Pass to Duran. To the inside. Wallace outside. Shot clock at five. Launches a three. That shot is off. Wiggins with some nice deep. Here's Watkins. Another three for Golden State. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. They knew that the arena would be rocking. And if they could execute well on the offensive end, they knew they could quiet down this hostile crowd. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Wallace, the pass to Bay. Wiggins against Wallace. Down low. Duran laid in with a nice touch off the glass. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Here's Watkins. Off target with his three. The Pistons have gone two or three here to start out the game. And we know Sadiq Bey is a reliable player on offense, but at times, Smitty, he's exceeded that. Oh, yeah. Sadiq Bey can have a big night when his confidence is really flowing, and he's not shying away from big shots. There's the three. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Brunson against Curry. Now here's Brunson. He's covered closely. Curry with the defensive effort. Watkins passes to Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Detroit's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. The pass to Ivan. Lets it go with the three. The Warriors pull it in, coming into this having nuts to win against the Rockets in their last game. 
really Round consistent seven. with their aggression. In that game, we saw very few lulls from an intensity standpoint. A couple things stood out for me. They were relentless, and they also played under control. That's a deadly combination. Here's Durham after the made shot from Watkins. Here's Brunson. No good, unable to end this run. Warriors leading by seven. Two minutes remaining. But Trey. And another three for Golden State. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball movement. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. One of the stories here, Red Hot, getting it done today. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to run him off his spots out there. He is rolling. And the Warriors with some changes. Garuba, he's checked in for Christian Wood. Bridges comes in for Jonathan Kaminga. Moody's subbed in for Wiggins. We've got 148 left here in the opening quarter. Bridges against Mitchell. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Miles Bridges. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Pistons shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Free throw drops for Mitchell. And Mitchell drops them both. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 16 to 6 run. That bucket in in no time at all. 17 points for Red Hot. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here, possibly over before it began. Wallace, Wallace. good. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Well, this is his game. Be proactive offensively, put the defense back on his heels. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Brown dishes to Wallace. Wagner outside. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Their last encounter was in Detroit where they were able to handle the Pistons. Yeah, they cruised to a win in these teams' last encounter, and their field goal percentage was off the charts. Here's Brown after the main shot from Watkins, and it's denied. That's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here.
Brown finds Mitchell. And, and trailing here in the first, you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive glass. Here's Red Hot. Wallace covering. He gets it in there. Red Hot's got 24. And they've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Brown outside. Detroit, no good that time either. Fires from way outside. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. They've kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels. And it's gotten them up big. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Warriors. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. On the floor for Detroit, running the wings, they'll go with Ivy and Bay. Mitchell is out there with Durham. And it's Brunson in at the point guard. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it isn't. There's some gray area, obviously. And it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks, Kevin. Well, red Hot was indeed hot in the last game against Houston. Lit up the floor. He ended up with 43 points, and he reached that total with some superb shooting from deep. And those are big numbers he put up. Hard to match. But he'll be aiming high again tonight. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Greg, it was obvious. He was having a lot of fun out there. Tremendous victory. I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. Fires for three, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got assist number eight now on the night. And here's Brunson. They'll bring it up for the Pistons. After this game, they can look forward to L.A., where they'll match up against the Clippers. And that will be the fifth game of the six-game road trip. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Nice shot by Red Hot. A great outside shooting, really fueling this run. The Pistons have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Brunson kicks to Bay. Always going up for the alley oop here. And Duran slams it in. Quality pass from Sadiq Bay, recognizing the overcommitment and making the D pay for it. Here's Watkins. Offline with his three. The Pistons have gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Brunson against Curry. And the shot goes in. Jalen Brunson. Brunson's got his first points in this one. And defensively, if you are not on point, Brunson more than capable of finishing inside. And the shot goes down. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Here's Ivy. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Wood's got four rebounds in this game. You know, the book on Ivy used to be sag off him and let him fire Steve. That is not the case any longer. Jane Ivy has a legitimate outside shot now, Kevin. He can lead on the mid-range and is more comfortable with the three. Has put in the work to improve his weaknesses. Now, here's Ivy. After the miss from Watkins, and here's the fast break. A finish, and he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. 
Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. The Pistons have gone 3-7 of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Now Pistons. a timeout called by Detroit. One of the stories here, Red Hot, getting it done today. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. And a different look here for the Pistons. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. But take a look at the Warriors. They've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. And for the Warriors, the step forward they've taken this season has been a giant one. I thought they'd be an improved team, but I had no idea they could be this good. And you're not alone. How could anyone have predicted this? Nobody thought they'd be such serious contenders this deep into the season. For Detroit, they've gone 4 of 8 so far here in the second quarter. Here's Wallace, and it's good for two. Wallace has got his second basket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Golden State's gone four or six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Got that one up quick. 46 points for Red Hot. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here's Wagner. He's coming off a 10-point game against Phoenix. And it goes down two points. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Here's Watkins. And another three for Golden State. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. Round inside to the left side wing. Let's go. Hey, no good. All by himself. Again, what an avalanche. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. For Detroit, they've gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Pass to Zazer. And Garuba is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul. So it's the Golden State Warriors leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they bring, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. And we'll be right back after this. The big gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. You know, Red Hot has really been making it happen, brothers. Well, he, he left his mark on that first half with his wow. quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Well, if you want to get into your offense quickly before the defense can set up, creating turnovers is a great way to do it. During. We've got Jonathan Kaminga. Red Hat is out there with Stephen Curry. Then it's Christian Wood. And it's Wiggins in at the three, the small forward. That's the Warriors' five. There's Red Hot. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. And another three for Golden State. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Passes it to Duran. Now here's Brunson. Ivy with it. Scoring-wise, he's definitely making his mark right now. He's Ivy. averaging about 19 points a game. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Here's Red Hot. From outside the arc. And another three for Golden State. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. Lost to Bay. Over Kaminga. Wood with the block. 
Man, an impressive block there by Wood. He's not going to shy away from competing defensively. Watkins passes to Kirk. Wallace against Wiggins. Over in the corner, Kaminga. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. Takes the three. Here's Bay. Bank shot. No good. The Warriors have gone three of four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. A fadeaway. Chalk up two there. Oh, man. Red Hawks got 58. Everything going to play it here to start. Third, 80% shooting thus far. Ivy passes to Duran. Now the pass to Brunson. That one, no good. Curry was a nice D. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his team. 
for Detroit. They have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And one area where Brunson's improved is in the clutch. He's a monster in crunch time. Nice to have a player you can depend on in those key situations. Looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Mitchell comes in for Sadiq Bay. And it's Brown in for Ivy. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Now, here's Mitchell. Two he is a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 man points a game. Four on the shot clock. And it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. Last touch by Green. A moment here to check out the numbers on the court. for Red Hot. The past month has been surreal. He's averaging 52 points, four assists, and four rebounds. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Because he gives you someone to build your offense around. You can count on his nightly production. Bridges misses. Pistons shooting poorly, just 35% so far. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Now, in recent years, the league has flattened the lottery odds and created the play-in tournament to keep more teams motivated. Commissioner Adam Silver knows some teams are in a development phase, but doesn't want to see maneuvering for better Brown. draft picks. He says teams are smarter, they're creative, and they respond. We move, they move. Kevin? Just like that. DA, thank you. So it's the Warriors now after the basket by Detroit. Thompson misses. Now Wallace. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Thompson dishes to Bridges. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Adept at maintaining his balance on the way up. Bridges, a strong player who can play through contact. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more to fall on that screen. Substitution on the court. Tries a three off the inbound. Hits it from three-point range. Red Ox got 13 points in the second half. No, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. On the floor for Detroit. Duran out there with Bay. Then there's Wallace. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Ivy in at the two. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Detroit's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Here's Brunson. No good on that one. Curry was a nice deal. The Warriors have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Another bucket. Oh, man. Wow. Been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Here's Ivy. That falls. Jaylen nice Ivey. speed that time from Brunson. Brunson's Brunson. got his third assist on the night. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. Some nice passing by Golden State here. After Red Hot unloads. Again, Golden Brown, State. Stephen, that's just eight. cold blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. Duran tips Durin. it back in. You know, great feed there by Jalen Brunson, a terrific facilitator. The Warriors have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. The three. Yet another bucket. 71 points and no. Sight. Young fella is in the zone. The defense right now looks helpless. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. 
Woods got rebound number seven for him tonight. Watkins and another three for Golden State. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Warriors. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. A two-game season series. They win them both a complete sweep. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Red Hot. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Passes it to Duran. Pulls it up. Here's Ivy. Tries again. That shot, no good. Excellent D there from Watkins. Shoots over Duran. And again. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. And the ball out of play. The Warriors won back. That. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They poured it out tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge.